Welcome back to Your Generation. Ted Bryant sits in with world-renowned jazz clarinetist Jim Beatty on this segment of Senior Scene. All right, all right, quiet on the set, and action. His father gave Jim Beatty a clarinet like this when he was eight years old, and Jim has been attracting crowds ever since to hear his Dixieland music. Jim Beatty is the star of this program's Senior Scene. Jim has played around the world, in China, in continental Europe, in Britain. He has played in saloons, in concert halls, and even outdoors. My father was a, a New York Yankee fan, and uh, in the summers he used to go down to the games, and he'd go to the ball games, and I'd go to the nightclubs. I couldn't get in because I was too young, but I'd stand outside on the street because, you know, those hot New York nights, the doors would be open, and the music would filter out, and uh, so I'd listen to the jazz bands sitting out in the curb. And then, intermissions, uh, often the, the musicians came out as well. The, you know, they're gasping for air in those hot nightclubs. And uh, so I got to, to meet a lot of musicians just standing outside the club. I ended up in the, in the Army. I was drafted, which interrupted everything, naturally. And I got in the Army band. And that's when everything changed because I, I found out what a wonderful life it is just playing music. And the Army taught me that. It was the best, best thing that ever happened to me, going in the Army. It all changed here in Portland. I can tell you exactly. 1982. <laughs> it was just like somebody clicking a switch off. Uh, because, you know, I was so busy in the nightclub business here in Portland. Because, well, I arrived in Portland in 67. And so all those years, I was working seven nights a week and twice on Sunday. There was just so much going on here. And then 82, I don't know, you know, people, all of a sudden people quit coming out. <laughs> when locally the the nightclubs started slowing down and the nightclubs got to be just a weekend adventure where you can't make a living on that, you know. And that's when I started uh, traveling and making connections overseas, uh, which I still am doing today and that, that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, what's the best overseas uh, trip you've ever made, Jim? The most interesting time I've had playing outside the United States is Communist China. I went to Beijing for a month and played. And it was the most fascinating month I've, I've ever had, uh, both uh, musically and my time off during the day. Because there was just such a different culture and so many things. I was, I was out every day wandering around the streets and you know and of course I saw the Great Wall of China and the Forbidden City and I was just everywhere. I've been in a sort of a, a rut here the last few years. I sort of do the same thing. Right after Christmas I, I, I'm i off to Palm Springs and I play New Year's Eve down there and then a bunch of other jobs and so bet in between Palm Springs and Phoenix, Arizona and uh, I, I, I sort of follow the sun if I can. Uh, where haven't you been uh, that you'd like to play? I'd like to go to Russia. That's always fascinated me. And perhaps someday I will. 
I've, I've been close, but no cigar. Yeah, as, as you look back uh, over your life as a musician, uh, how has it been? A good deal of it's been one big party. Uh, because, you know, uh, most of my work has been nightclubs. And uh, it's been, and the people are partying, and the musicians are partying, and, and I get to be at the party and play, you know. But it's been one big party. The London Times newspaper called Jim Beatty a grand discovery. To find out where Jim is playing, you can check on his website at jbrecords.com. For Senior Scene, I'm Ted Bryant. I'll bet you didn't know that at one time Jim actually considered becoming a mortician. Aren't you glad that he stuck with jazz? Otherwise, we never would have been able to enjoy his music. Well, that's our show. We'd like to thank those of you who've written in with your comments and story ideas. Your generation is made possible by advertising and sponsorships. If you would like to see your generation continue on the air, please contact us for advertising and sponsorship information. Write us at Your Generation, 11080 Southwest Allen Boulevard.